Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wybot. Welcome back to Civilization VI. We're continuing where we left off as Sumerian. And, yeah. We're continuing where we left off as Sumerian. I'm getting a timer started so that we don't go too far over last time we did. And it looks like we're getting closer to the end of the series here. I just realized that looking at the episodes here, that usually there's only a few more. We'll see if things change here. But that reminds me, I do need to actually check this out. Okay, so... So we're actually doing alright here. So Scythia's research robotics, they don't give a shit about space travel. And, uh, Russia. So really, it's the Aztecs we're gonna have to look out for, and possibly Scythia's religion victory, which is easily stopped by simply just declaring war on them and starting to murder their apostles. So, anyway, let's continue here. So we got artillery in Sapar. Let's get that over. Uh, Scythia just settled a troll city here, so that's going to make things very frustrating to get my troops over to the Russian front. Scythia is next on my shit list, even though the Aztecs probably should be... I'm not entirely sure which one is, well, the Aztecs are probably more of a threat in terms of the science victory, but uh, Scythia's, <laughs> Scythia's got me very angry. I've got a bone to, s I've got a bone to pick with them. I've got a score to settle. Okay. Mm. Also, this city right here, Tavir, we're going to avoid attacking it for now because they've got the, uh, anti-tank crew army in there, which is bumping up its defensive strength considerably. So, yeah, we're pretty much not going to be doing a lot of attacking on the Russians at the moment here. We're going to... I'm actually going to pull this guy out. Pull this guy over here. Damn, I can't even get... Stupid Scythia. I'm very, very tempted to just go to war with these jerks. Hmm. I feel like that's a monumentally terrible idea since my forces are so out of position. Although my city's defenses are considerable, just on their own. I mean, Uruk, with no units stationed in it, has a 93 combat strength. Milntos has 82, Ur has 86, Bad Tibra has 88, so on and so forth. They're not going to take my cities easily. If it comes down to that. So skip your turn for now. Uh, you guys... So, you go ahead and gain some sources, then uh, recruit some partisans. Which I've never actually done before. I'm very curious to see how that uh, works out. And this guy, I think we're going to leave him there for now. Let's see how that goes. Leave him there for now as well. Hopefully, hopefully they survive. It's gonna be like 18 freaking turns for that guy to get there. That's not acceptable. That's we're not dealing with that. Yeah, it's almost like to actually wage an effective war against Russia, we have to go to war with Scythia in the process and take one of their cities. Take Buenos Aires to, uh, yeah. Alright, so he is starting to offer... He offered Moscow. <laughs> if only he realized what that actually meant.
actually second most powerful city, I would assume. Second city on the list. Can I get him to offer Tavir and Rhodes? Probably not, right? So if I can just take those cities out of a peace deal, then that's almost as good as a... Uh, Come on. Come on, stop lagging. Tavir and Rhodes. Make the steel more equitable, please. No? Okay, fine. Just ignore Gandhi's request. We don't care. Oh, bugger. Well, that's a motivation to actually go to war with Gandhi. My spy got captured. <laughs> yep, that's fair. Our spy got captured, what do we do? Parlay to get him out? No. We go to war with Gandhi. We take him by force. Let's get a factory up in Ur. Okay, now let's go ahead and upgrade that dude. Do we have any tanks just lying around here that are still on this side? This is what I'd really like to know. Also, tank purchase. It's insanely expensive. Okay, so we're not doing that. Also, they have heavy, crazily heavy amounts of anti-tank units. These guys are going to link up. Okay, just... Stay there for now. I'm still not sure if we're going to go to war with uh, Scythia or not. I don't want to fight a two-front war if I can avoid it. Thank you very much. Uh, but I will if I can... Aztecas, are you still at war with Scythia? No, you're not. Okay. There's that tank that was lying around. Oh! Oh! Another thing, the Aztecs have, uh, the Aztecs have gone ahead and, uh, our deal with open borders has ended. What would it take for this, sir? Two gold and, like, an additional one gold as a gift? Sure, why not? Let's keep those open borders alive and well so we can at least access our troops. guy is just one hex too far away. So this thing needs to move up. So we got a tank here. What can we do with said tank? What's this guy here? Double attack? He is a five promotion. Let's go ahead and move him over here. And we're gonna have to leave double attack there for another turn. Drought. Oh. Okay, that's pro Oh, holy crap, Tavir. Alright, let's go ahead and just that guy as well with the field cannon. Perfect. This guy is safe. Yeah, he looks like he's safe. So fortify up, heal up. You skip your turn. Uh, don't pillage the neighborhood. We might, we might want to keep it around. So they damaged my field cannon. That guy needs to pull back. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. England switched to fascism. Interesting. So they're still ahead of me in terms of culture. 
very much behind me in terms of science. It's okay, we're getting mass media in a turn. If you don't then... read the newspaper, you're uninformed. If you read... Anything we want to change? Anything at all? cards anything good there I don't think so how are our great works empty empty as fuck so what we could really use as a great writer then we could also use Stephanie Quali however we're behind on that so we're gonna need to also save some production for Sciences funding, so we can get back on top of the pile for the last great scientist. Let's grab ideology. Carthage, you have no... Yeah, they don't have any sort of uh, academy district. Campus district, that's what it's called. Thank you. Uh, let's get another worker in there. Oh, hello, mechanized infantry. So that's gonna hurt. So this guy, anyway. This guy here needs to form the army. If we're gonna be dealing with mechanized infantry, we're gonna need to move some stuff back. This guy can probably handle it just fine. Or at least take a bit of it. Not too shabby. Let's go ahead and move up the balloon. Oh, this guy gets another attack. Let's keep him where he is. Can you heal up? You can move forward. Finish him off. You have nobody else you can attack, so just end your turn. You stay there for now as well. Is there anywhere we want to use the settler? I mean, there's some godforsaken tundra down there, but I'd rather not. I could just ensure that this land stays mine. Uh, there looks to be a lot of... Well, there's a lot of oasises around here. That might be an idea. Sure up my eastern uh, lands. Yeah, let's get this guy heading over that way then. Um, I really want to go to war with these guys, but I feel like it's gonna just end in trouble. I don't think I have the forces here necessary to get a war going. Alright, uh, you can go over here and just add some more farms to boost up the green farms. Oh, you're willing to trade the spy back. That's not a bad deal, actually. Thank you, Gandhi. Here I was thinking I was going to have to go to war with you. Instead, you're going to pay me for a bunch of, bunch of luxuries. Very good. Where exactly is uh, mobile infantry in here? Mechanized infantry? There's 
the Russians are into the information age. We're just on the edge of the atomic age here. So it's over in it's over in satellites. Okay, so we'll get that soon enough. We'll get all of these soon enough. Thanks to our great scientists. Okay. Well. Anyway, let's blow the living crap out of this one. Still. Yeah, let's leave that one there for now. Fortify till you're healed. And just sleep for now. Fortify for now. Fortify as well. And you sleep for now. Embedded spy, let's send you off somewhere. Where can we send you off to? How about Madrid? Yeah, Madrid looks like a good spot. Lots of gold from successful spying missions. England built an airport. Wondering if airports are going to become the new spaceports in this game. Because last patch they were building spaceports in every damn city. So he's offering to give us Moscow again. There's no strings attached this time. Can I trade Moscow for Tyr? No. How about for roads? I want something that's next to my territory. Forget it then. Goodbye. So it looks like his city has gotten a defensive boost now. Must have uh, gotten whatever necessary taxi uh, needed for that. I still don't know how the defensive uh, boosts end up working here. Untutored courage is useless in the face of educated bullets. All right, what do we got here? Advanced flight, we've got a boost for that. We've got a boost for all kinds of things. The exception of rocketry. However, we will need advanced flight to get to stuff like satellites. Uh, let's start with rocketry. That way we can decide whether we want mechanized infantry or whether we want rocket artillery. Because rocket artillery is really damn good. For now, let's build some regular artillery over there. Uh, let's build a bank over here. Let's go ahead and just use our dude to uh, attack again. Go ahead and bring out our tank army. We can't cross the river yet. That's unfortunate. Oh well. We're bringing this guy out, and Rhodes indeed has still got this funny little wall off here. So let's go ahead and just start trying to chip Rhodes down a little bit here. And we'll go ahead and just blast this guy with our guy who we can actually upgrade. So we're going to do that. 
All right, apparently we can use one action to blast, and we can use the second action to upgrade two machine guns. Beautiful. That is fantastic, actually. All right, so this one... Let's find the highest gold trade route we can manage here. Birmingham, I guess. Oops. Sapar, I think I want lots and lots of production for this one, so probably an internal one. Let's go just to the capital. It's a short one, but those are usually pretty good. And this one way over here. Do we want to keep it there or do we want to move it somewhere else? Actually, getting a trade route to Agra would be really good, just for the road. Let's go ahead and do that. I mean, we I suppose we do have a road going to Geneva, but it'd be nice to have one going into my own territory. Probably be just a skosh more useful. Got 2,000 faith. Still haven't started uh, any projects here to uh, help boost our great scientist recruiting power. We're going to have to do that soon, otherwise Scythia will get them. What sort of damage did we do to that? So we did moderate damage to the city. Bad Tibra. So, speaking of those uh, projects here, let's go ahead and get some campus research grants done, and we'll do some more of those in Agra, as long as it's not too time-consuming. 13 turns? That's reasonable. Okay, excuse me. Let's go ahead and get Quiche set up with uh, getting that artifact out. And upgrade that guy to machine guns. Can we not double? Can we not attack with this guy? Ooh. Right, I think machine guns lose their range advantage when they go up to machine gun attack. On the bright side, they're more powerful. Alright, so you just fortify, I suppose. You hit the city, fortify. That's a decisive victory, so is this. Let's cross the river with that dude. Get a lumber mill up. So we're not going to attack the city. That seems fairly suicidal. We are, however, going to bring some of our stuff up. Alright, we got another trade route here. Let's actually move this one. Um, I'm thinking we'll move it to Uruk and we'll get some more... Uh, get some more production going in our capital there. It's always good. So you just fortify until healed. You... Yeah, you can move over here, actually. That way you can, you can probably even double attack the city. Perfect. It's still a fairly significant loss. But if we position you just right, soon we're not gonna... Let's try positioning you here. 
and then eventually we'll be able to surround the city and besiege it so it won't heal up whenever uh, the turn ends. That'll make things a lot quicker. Aztecs have built a market in Kabul. Let's take a look at our various win-loss conditions here. So the Aztecs have comp they've completed the moon landing and they're working on uh, actually how they've only researched one of the final techs. Okay. So we're getting into that territory where we have to worry about the Aztecs. But it's a ways away. It's frustrating too, since it has been demonstrated that no system, not even the most inhuman, it's frustrating because I would like to uh, just go to war with Scythia instead. But it looks like it's going to be the Aztecs first if I want to avoid a uh, loss. Uh, this city, do we have any useful projects we can do? Harbor shipping or industrial zone? Logistics? Not really. Okay. Let's work on a factory then. We gain sources in uh, Tavir, by the way. So our tank right here, he can attack the city, but once again he's going to lose half his health if he tries that. Move you over here. And we'll take a few more shots with the machine gun. Brought down the walls fairly significantly. Warcart, same fate, lots of damage. How about now? This might actually be worth it now. Because either one of these can take a significant chunk out of their HP, so I'm gonna take a shot at this. Very close. Very close. Battering ram, just go to sleep. Oh, we can take another go. Of course we can. What am I thinking, folks? This dude is actually going to stay. The cat is going to go. The cat has decided to say hello, get on the computer desk, and chew on the mic. Nope. Sorry, folks. All right, recruit partisans. Let's see. Our intelligence project... Our intelligence projects the following probabilities. 74% chance of successful mission. 21% chance of failure. 5% chance of being captured or killed. Sure, go ahead. Let's go ahead and move you out. Cat's come back. He's kind of sitting and pouting at the edge, threatening to bite on the cord. I'm just staring him down. Go to bad tibra, why not? Hmm. Okay, so this... Yeah, we're making progress. But Sithi has quite a few people there. Or quite a few points. Alright, so we got a Sumerian artifact. We got a mask. Cool. I need to get one of those guys from Calcutta. 
And the cat's after the microphone cord again. Angus, you little shit, come on. Alright, so probably at the end of this turn we're gonna throw down a cut, which is probably just as well, because the cat's being a little shit. Yes, I'm talking to you, you little shit. Stop trying to get at the microphone cord just because it looks like a goddamn mouse tail. Doesn't swatter me, you little shit. Anyway, guys, I am, I see you wiggling your bum. Fun fact, when cats are wiggling their bums, they're getting ready to attack things. All right, can we use this tank to attack? Yes, we have people, we have roads, awesome. Let's get this guy who's wounded somewhere safe. We'll go ahead and we'll keep the city. Yeah, we're not liberating the city. We're keeping it. It's ours now. Sorry, Greece. Not sorry. Let's go ahead and grab a promotion. What do we want here? Plus seven. Combat strength against other heavy units. Charge versus fortified defender. So we can choose any one of these we want. Don't mind me, the cat's just being a shit still. Uh, armor penetrating? Sure, why not? Carthage. Can we? Of course, we can't build that. Can't do the project we want, can we? Nope. Uh, let's build more units. Let's build more dudes here, then. How long is it going to take to build a tank army? 27 turns? Yeah, I don't think so. How about an artillery army? Uh, no. Okay. How about machine guns? Machine guns are still quite relevant. Let's just build one for now. Alright, so for this city, we start repairing the stuff. I think this is just going to be a uh, everybody heal up turn. A series of turns, I guess. Although we can probably grab Tabir as well. That'd be good. Alright, next up. Can't grab that because that is now inside the territory of Scythia. Those little bastards. That's a cat chewing on my sweater string. On a hoodie string, not on a microphone cord. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is going to do it for me for now. I'm going to have to uh, find some way to uh, get some of the cat's violent energy out of them. So, thank you very much for watching. We got Rhodes. Rhodes looks normal again, by the way. It doesn't have the weird setup with the medieval walls. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. My name's been Wybot. Angus has been a little shit. Subscribe if you like my videos. I will see you next time.